living on the farm Gruffalo. This is the story of a puppy, a puppy who went and saw a movie and then he believed it, he really believed it. It's the story of Scruff the Vampire. In this story of Scruff the Vampire, it teaches us that we shouldn't believe. We shouldn't believe what we see in the movie because they're only made up stories. They aren't real what we see in the movies. They're only movies. Yep. Shh, keep your voice down. But we had plans tonight. He worked like a dog today. We were going to see that nice romantic movie. Oh, well. Scruff, now it's all ours. I don't like to tell lies, but he's my only grandson. Tonight, there'll be none of those soppy romantic novels. Tonight, we're gonna see Dracula. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You'll see. So there won't be any kissing today. The last time we went to the cinema, they made us watch kissing and listen to soppy conversations. I want to see something scarier. <gasps> hey, uh, Lil, do you really think Scruff should see this movie? if it's good for him. What do you mean, Ron? It's one of those horror flicks. He might have some bad nightmares. Oh, please. Dogs don't understand movies. We'll never know what a dog understands. Uh. <laughs> hey, Trix, guess what movie I just saw? Huh? It was a Dracula called Transylvania who slept in a box and turned into a bat or something really scary like that. I've never seen a movie not allowed in the theater. Sorry, I forgot. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't get the movie out of my head. I'm sort of scared. Vampire, it's a bat, and it didn't bite you. But whatever am I gonna do? Scruff, do you want me to tell you what you have to do? Fine. Well, I'll tell you, Count Scruffula. Don't you understand? Don't you see that now I'm gonna turn into one of those weird counts like in the movies? you 
possess To frighten off the fiends and petrify the rest Dress up in a sheet or a face gold Masks, pillows, teddy bears, just anything will do Disappear, Mr. Fear, don't come near, get out of here If you sing this loud and clear, you'll scare him off, so persevere Disappear, Mr. Fear, don't come near, get out of here This morning. Don't get too close to me. I'm a vampire now. You'll have to find a different kind of box. A coffin. Real vampires hide it. If I were you, I'd run away before I sink my fangs into your neck. Oh, how scary. You're really scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor you for discovering me, Meow. I'll stick my fangs into your... Scruff, enough with the horror movies. I also feed on blood. I'm a vampire dog. I only live by night. You've been watching too much TV. <laughs> Scruff, what's wrong with you so early in the morning? Are you hiding from the sun? Come out from under that bed. You're okay, but I don't want your flea getting comfortable in my bed. Well, okay, if you want the sun to burn me to a crisp, then you can have your way. Help! The sun's destroying me! Help! <laughs> garlic! 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 Vampires can't stand garlic! This garlic thing works. He won't be bothering me anymore. There's only one place I can be safe. <laughs> Scruff, you're scared of light. You can't stand garlic. I think we're gonna go see the vet. No, not that! It's very strange. He wouldn't come with me until I put him in a box. Doctor, honest. I never let him watch movies. Uh, he sleeps in a box. He runs from the light. He's allergic to garlic. If he turns into a bat, bring him back to me. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. That was so embarrassing. When we get home, I'm gonna make you some garlic soup, and then I'll lock you in the yard in full daylight, and maybe that'll teach you a lesson. The doctor asked me if I was born yesterday. I looked like a real idiot. <laughs> if you carry on like this, without eating, you're gonna end up skin and bones. Don't you understand that losing too much weight isn't good for you? Why are you acting like this? Afraid of me, even now that I'm a vampire. You're a vampire? Can't you tell? 
I want people to notice. Be afraid. Don't you see I'm a vampire? Auntie, don't play his game. Get this vampire thing out of his head once and for all. Talk some sense into him. No, no. Nobody at all is scared of you. Not even a little bit? You don't shock anyone? No, no, nobody. Maybe tricks, but that's nothing to shout about. Mm, enough of this, Scruff. I don't like sleeping during the day. No, sir, not one bit. Um, you're right, Strummer. The life of a vampire is worse than the life of a ghost. The only advantage is they don't have to do so much laundry. Thanks for your terrific help, Hardy. Oh, Scruff. I'd love to teach you how to be scary, really, but I'd have to learn myself first. It's already my time, the hour of the vampires! <laughs> What if a dog wants? Maybe he wants to eat us? I want you to know what my fangs are like. Girls, trust me, you don't want to pay any attention to him. You must have lost your mind, you silly little dog. That must be it. I'll make you run away with your tail between your legs. Now you'll see. Here we go. It's always the same with you. You like playing the big shot around the coop, but we always end up losing our feathers. I'm a vampire and I have to feed, don't you get it? What are you up to now, Scruff? Enough! Don't get any closer! I don't understand. There was a string of garlic here. I can't imagine who would have taken it. Huh? Good morning, Auntie. Uh, How are you? Your dog has just been in here scaring the chickens. Do you think that's okay? May I? Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're missing some garlic. Am I right? Oh. What do you know about the disappearing garlic? Has this got to do with Scruff as well? I just don't know where this is gonna end. It's about tricks this time. Is this a contest to see who can mess things up the most? He's a vampire. What I want is some sleep. That's my beauty. Uh, awake at night. That's the vampire's burden. I don't know what to do. This is really boring. I'll go to the forest. Since Scruff has been living by night, I can't sleep at all. I'm too worried about him. He's running high and low, trying to find someone to stick his fangs into. I let him watch Dracula, and obviously, I made a big mistake. <laughs> If 
I could find another dog. It was just an idea. Why don't you get back to your lump of hay in the stable where it's a lot warmer, huh? Huh? Hey, it's four in the morning. What have I done to deserve this obnoxious, silly little flea? What did you call me just because I want to go back to a normal schedule? I have to live by night, and I will. I think this vampire thing is going to get us in lots of trouble. Just wait till I can fly, Strummer. Fly? If you're thinking of flying, tell me now, because I'm not going to be your pilot. How boring. Boring? Do you know how tall I am? For me, three feet is a cliff. Well, hold on tight, because I'm more than six inches tall. Oh, oh, stop! It's great watching how the sun lights the sky, waking everyone from the slumber. They arise, stretching and yawning. Something on your mind that bothers you and you can't unwind. Find the solution, don't delay. Watch your troubles fly away. Life's real fun, the sky's the limit. Look around, what a perfect day. Rain or sun, it's the way you live it. Happiness is a smile away. Feeling good, be happy. Feeling good, take it easy. Feeling good, be optimistic. A perfect Ron? I'm looking for Scruff, isn't it obvious? I don't know why, but nobody ever sees him in the day. So, Scruff hides because he doesn't want to be exposed to daylight since he thinks he's a vampire. That's it. Ridiculous, isn't it? Well, that's what you get for letting him watch television. It's only for the simple-minded. It's a waste of time. I know. Um, uh, um, for dogs and for people. Wait a minute, Uncle. You watch television too, don't you? So it can't be so... I only watch The Weatherman. Hold on a minute, Uncle. Admit it. You watch all of the game shows. Well, you even watch the commercials. Okay, okay. I get the point. But maybe if it's the television that spooks Scruff, it might take the television uh, to unspook him. Oh. As unlikely as that sounds, it's not all that stupid. I don't know if it's because you're old. I, I mean, it, it's because you're the voice of experience, but you always know what to do. I've got an idea. Peter, I didn't mean anything by it, son. says here, Holly. So what's that book about? It's psychology. It says that some people become so affected after they see a film that they start to identify with the main character of the story. Huh. They even start to think that they're living what they saw in the film. That isn't a veterinary book. It also says that these personality disorders can only be cured in the same way they were brought about. All well, that is by watching another movie that's suitable for the patient in question. Scruff isn't a person. It won't work. Hey, Holly, you've said yourself many times that Scruff is more of a person than I am. Well, that's true. We have to try it. <sighs> I've got the way to cure Scruff right here. Just watch how well it works. It won't work. Peter, he won't be able to watch three movies in a row. We'll make sure that he watches them ourselves. It'll be real brainwashing, for his own good, of course. And don't ever say that dogs don't understand movies, please. Oh, oh, oh. I won't let you brainwash me. My brain's not dirty. 
quiet down and watch the movie. We'll start with Rin Tin Tin, the dog of the 7th Cavalry. Don't you think this movie is a little too old? Don't you think he'll get bored, poor little dog? Not at all. And now for the second one. Here we are. But this one's even older than the other one, Peter. Please, it has to be at least 60 years old. Polly, my dear, a dog's life hasn't really changed all that much. This is not an old movie. It's what they call a classic film. Just you wait and see how much he likes it. What did I tell you? Look how much Scruff is enjoying this one. Dogs like movies about dogs. It's obvious. And this one is a real winner. <sighs> he got through his therapy very well, I think. Maybe we should take a break now. What do you think? No, put on Beethoven. He should see a movie about modern dogs. Dogs from his own day and age. All right, all right. It looks like they forgot to wash my brain after all. Just as well, I really didn't want to get wet. This Beethoven gets into a lot of trouble. Is he cured? Mm -hmm. Oh no, daylight! But what went wrong? I don't understand. It's not possible. He's acting like a real dog. Bravo, Rin Tin Tin. Keep them on the move. <laughs> My word, it never stops. Now it's Peter who's under the influence of the movies. What movie will cure him? Bugle, sound the retreat. <laughs> episode, Telosa Farm stops being the property of Ron and Lil and changes hands. But I bet you can't guess who the new owners are. Scruff tries to get the animals to go on strike, but the others don't think it's such a good idea. The little puppy has to face up to the new owners all on his own. It's great watching how the sun lights the sky, waking everyone from the slumber they arise, stretching and yawning they're up there. Something on your mind that bothers you and you can't undo. 